Hello, my name is Kendall Hillegas and I am a professional artist and commercial illustrator. While I work full time in this industry, creating work for packaging, apparel, video games, and editorial clients like the Wall Street Journal and Condé Nast, I also really enjoy sharing my industry experience online on places like YouTube and Instagram, and of course, uh, through classes here on Skillshare. Since my work tends towards realism, I get a lot of questions from beginning or aspiring artists or even established artists who are looking to make up their style a little bit, wondering how they can make their own work look more realistic. In response to these questions, I've created a series of foundational level art courses covering everything from proportions to value to color. And this is part two in that series. And in this series, we are going to talk about values. So that is lights and darks and shading and how those things create a sense of form and dimension and realism in artwork. Value or shading is absolutely crucial to making a piece of two-dimensional artwork look realistic. In fact, you may have the most accurate and perfectly executed line sketch that really has spot on realistic proportions, but if the shading isn't done well or if there isn't any shading at all, that subject will still look flat and won't feel real. That's why in my opinion, after proportions and perspective, having a good sense of value and darks and lights and how those work together to create a sense of form and dimensionality in your artwork is uh, really the most crucial step, the most crucial skill to being able to create realistic drawings and paintings. So in this class, we're gonna talk about different techniques for shading. We're gonna talk about how values actually work in the real world. And we're gonna learn to recognize different types of shadows and how those shadows describe a sense of form. And then we're gonna to learn to use comparison to see darks and lights in our subjects, whether that's a reference image or in real life. And then we're gonna to learn to translate those values, translate those darks and lights and shadows onto our piece of artwork to give it that sense of form and weight and realism. So we'll have a series of sit down lessons where I'll unpack each of these points at a conceptual level. And then we'll have a detailed demo and talk through where you'll get to see me shade a drawing from start to finish, starting out relatively flat and then building up dimension through uh, darks and lights and values as I go and of course explaining every phase of the process as I'm working through it. Since we'll be focusing entirely on values and shading in this class we aren't going to have time to go into some of those more uh, basic elements of drawing so proportions and basic observation skills so if you don't feel comfortable with those yet I would suggest actually going back and taking part one of this series first. That course covers those concepts those concepts of proportion and basic observation. It'll be linked in the class description and you can also find it on my Skillshare page but if you do feel comfortable with proportion and you're just looking to really understand darks and lights and how to see darks and lights then this class is absolutely for you you will need a basic line sketch to get started this is the one that I'm gonna be working from I created it specifically for this class so that's what you'll get to see me working on in the demo so if you are a beginning or aspiring artist or maybe someone who has had a bit of experience but hasn't really worked much in realism I hope you will join me in this class as we really build on that foundation that we laid in part one of this series with proportions and learn how to take our work up a notch, how to really increase the sense of realism through darks and lights, through a good understanding of values and shading and form. I can't wait to get started with you and to see you in the class.